Now to some fake news, uh, and the ABC has been forced to apologise for it and retract. The Australian reports that the ABC has spoken to staff after they ran an on-air strap claiming Senator Holly Hughes had flippantly declared climate change was not Australia's problem. Now, I saw similar stories all through the media bagging the Liberal senator, but it wasn't actually true. Hughes actually said climate change is a global problem, not just an Australian problem, and was simply highlighting the unquestionable truth that our emissions make up just 1.3% of global emissions. Well, the ABC dimwits who don't understand science didn't understand that argument, and they had to be dealt with by ABC management, according to The Australian. But let's bring the panel back in to discuss. Caroline, obviously, a really important part of the climate uh, debate should be how do we get India, China, these massive emitters to the table? Is China really going to look at what we're doing and just follow us from the, the goodness of their heart? Uh, because we've set the example. And I've always noticed that journalists do not like that fact that we really don't have any influence over the, the global emissions. Well, and, and that is a really important point, Jack, because it's very hard uh, to to drive a narrative if, in fact, what it, what we're being asked to do is not going to make a significant difference. It, it's much harder to scare the community. It's much harder to, to force them to behave differently if, in fact, even if we turn the lights off, it's going to make absolutely no difference. It, it is a global issue. Most of these sorts of big issues are global issues and we do need to bring these other countries to the table. In the process of doing that, in Australia, we need to retain a standard of living. We need to keep our economy, you know, moving along. We, we can't just turn the lights off. We've, we've got to look after people and, and we need to make sure that we have our own energy security going forward. So it is, it's, it's a multifaceted question and it's actually a really nuanced conversation, but we're not allowed to have any nuance in this conversation. You know, energy <laughs> policy, it, it, energy policy is the sun is free, therefore it's perfect. I mean, that that it's there's a bit more to it than that. I hate it to break it to you. The most unreal thing about this for me though, Jack, is that the ABC apologised. I mean, incredible. It, it's, it, it's crazy that they actually apologised, but I guess they had to. It, it was just so obviously wrong and, and she is a senator. I don't know if they would have apologised if it was an average punter. Um, that they misquoted. But Kosher, it's pretty sneaky journalism. And But to put that aside, it really shows a lack of understanding about the debate. The, the fact that it is quite complex, um, as Caroline puts it. And sometimes I'm reading these media reports and I think, I honestly think that these journalists feel that if we were to phase out all fossil fuels tomorrow, we would solve climate change. And that's just not what the science tells us. You know, I think lack of understanding in, front, in some corners of the media is definitely a problem. And I think another problem is that there's complete understanding, but uh, there's just ideological agendas. And that's really what they're pushing back to that uh, point about the evolution of media and where we are, where it's about influence and not chronicling. Uh, and by the way, the point that she's making, just even at a high level, even if we, you step away from the nuance and the details and the data, um, it's a very, it is actually a mainstream position and a position that passes the common sense sniff test if you asked an average Australian about, you know, how much impact you think a country of 25 million people has on the planet versus China or India. I think, you know, everybody gets that. But I think, you know, something that you did mention there, Jack, about the, the sneaky journalism, that's actually really interesting because I've been looking at, at this and all around the world, it's, uh, the, it, it's a symptom of where we are in the evolution of, of media, where with digital media, tactically, it's very easy to sort of issue these sneaky corrections four days later online on the website after the damage mm. has been done with it. It also pushes an ideological agenda. And I think, again, the, the center right in general, which finds its Itself on the opposite side of the aisle from most of the media is going to have to figure out how to fight back. And I think Senator Hughes did that by calling them out and um, good for her that she got uh, an apology. And in some cases, you're even seeing more extreme situations where some right center right politicians around the world are refusing to even participate in interviews by media that they think are unfair. And you might see more of more of that happen as well, which is unfortunate, but it just might be the next stage of where we are.